Hey, Amy Porterfield here. And today I have a very cool tool that I want to tell you about. It's called Edge Rank Checker, and it's a Facebook tool for you to get a score to determine how much engagement or how much great activity is going on on your Facebook page. The reason why I love it is I really do think this is something that you should monitor on a weekly basis. So you could check back to the site weekly and see if your score increases. And, you know, I talk a lot about ways to increase your engagement on your Facebook page. And at the bottom of this blog post, I have put a few links to my favorite articles, some that I wrote, some that other people wrote, about how to increase your engagement on your Facebook page. Because as you probably already know, if you're not getting people to become engaged on your page, meaning leave, leaving comments under your post or posting on your page or clicking that like button on your page, then Facebook is looking at your page and thinking, mm, this page isn't really that important. We're not going to put it into the news feeds of the fans. So that means that if you have 20,000 fans and you have zero engagement going on, then you're not getting out into the news feeds of those 20,000 fans. So it's kind of crazy, even though they click the like button, they're not really seeing any of your content. So it's important to get your edge rank up in order to get out into the news feeds of your fans. So I wanna show you this tool and explain a little bit about the three factors that get you to increase your score. And so then you can track this regularly and start seeing some really great momentum on your Facebook page. So let's go over and dive into the actual page. I'll show you how to use the tool in order to, for you to get started right away. So here's the URL of the tool. It's edgerankchecker.com. But before you go over to this URL, stay with me for a minute here, and I'm gonna give you some details about how Facebook determines if your Facebook posts are important enough to get out into the top news feeds of all your fans. So it really comes down to the fact that you're only as good as your last post on Facebook. What I mean by that is getting people to engage with your post and click the like button next to your post is crucial on Facebook. Because if your last post bombed, meaning nobody's engaging with your post, they're not leaving comments, they're not clicking that like button, they're not sharing your post, not only does Facebook take note and they look at your post and they look at your page and think maybe you're not that important enough to get out into the top news feeds of all your fans, but also those who see your post, if it's a really boring post, um, uninteresting post, your fans remember this and they take note and they're less likely to engage in your posts that follow that. So your posts are really very important. It's important also to track what's working and what's not working in order to keep your content fresh, inviting, interesting. So Facebook Insights, which you probably know about, you find it in your dashboard on your Facebook page. Facebook Insights will give you some information about how your posts are really landing with your fans. But this tool, Edge Rank Checker, will also let you know about how well you're doing in engagement on your Facebook page. So first I want you to understand what edge rank really is. There's this great article by Likeable Media. It's called The Mystery of the Facebook News Feed. You can Google it to find it. And in that article, they talk about edge rank. And basically they say that anything that is posted on Facebook, be it a status update, a link, a video, or some other form of update, it's considered an object. And there are three edges to that object that determine if it's important enough to put out into the top news feeds of your fans. So those three edges are one, Facebook asks how often the user is checking you out. So how interesting are you really to your fans? How often are they engaging and checking you out on Facebook? Also the type of interaction. So are they leaving a comment? Or are they just clicking the like button? Are they sharing your content? You know, what are people doing with your content on Facebook? That's another thing that Facebook looks at. And lastly, is your content recent and does it have a lot of activity? Because if it is recent and it does have a lot of activity, Facebook gives you a higher score. It's like a mathematical equation. I'll show you a little bit about that more in a moment. But Facebook looks at that and thinks, okay, there's a lot of engagement here. There's a lot of recent activity. We're going to deem this as an important post. Then you will get your score up and you're more likely to end up in the top news feeds of your fans. One thing to really remember is the higher your edge rank score, the more likely it is to be visible on a fan's top news feed. So how do you get your score? Well, that's where the tool comes in. So let's go on over to edgerankchecker.com. 
So here's the tool, edgerankchecker.com. And one thing I didn't mention yet was that most people, once they click the like button on your Facebook page, um, they usually don't come back to your page. They instead see all your Facebook posts in their news feeds. And by default, Facebook shows the top news feeds, the news feeds or the posts that your audience is most likely interested in. And that's the top news feed. So when you post, your goal is to get into the top news feeds of your fans. So to do that, you really need to get your edge rank score up. So this tool will give you a, a pretty good estimate of what your edge rank score is. So what you do is you come on the page, you log in through Facebook here. I've already done that. And then here's a drop down menu where you basically find if you're an admin of a page, it will show up in this drop down menu and you find the page you want to get a score for. So Marketing Machines, Main Street Marketing Machines is a page I'm an admin for. And so I want to see in the last week what their engagement was like. So I go ahead and put a, um, the date in. For this one, I'm just going to do one week, the first week of June. And then I just hit get my score. From there, it gives you some really interesting information. One, it tells you your edge rank score, which in this case, Main Street Marketing Machines Facebook page is an 11, which is a really good score. I usually tell my clients, try to get somewhere between 11, 12, 13. Those are really strong scores. They're average. I mean, who doesn't want to be above average? 14 to 19, as you can see over here, here's the scores, is above average. But if you're just starting out, a great um, number to shoot for is about 10 or 11. Also tells you, the best day in that week was on Thursday. That's when I had the best score. My worst days, Monday and Tuesday. So I had less activity on Monday and Tuesday. And it says here, best and worst edge rank days during the week on average over the selected time period. Use this information to reflect on what is typically being done on these days. For example, some pages run a contest on Fridays. Use this data to see if the weekly contest is helping or hurting your average edge rank. Use this information to tailor the page's posting weekly posting strategies. So I think it's really important to know if you're going to do something and you monitor this on a weekly basis and every time you run the report, it usually says about Thursdays or maybe Fridays are your best day to post. Use that information as you post on Facebook. So um, most new fans I get on this page on a Friday, least fans Monday and Tuesday. So here again, it shows you how do we determine edge rank. It's affinity, weight, and time decay. And affinity, weight, and time decay is basically those three edges I just showed you in the keynote presentation I did there. It, um, those are the three factors that determine your edge rank score. So just something really to pay attention to. So spend a little time on this site, you know, get really clear about what's going on. Um, as I mentioned before, as you can see down here, the higher your edge rank score, the more likely it is to be visible on a fan's top news feeds. So the score is given, um, this is interesting, the score given is not relative to the page's size, meaning a larger fan base page does not necessarily give it advantage in edge rank. A small and effective Facebook page with high edge rank can outperform a large Facebook page with low edge rank in terms of per user visibility. So that means that those big brands that maybe have a million fans, that doesn't, the number of fans doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be seen more often than your page will. Remember, it really comes down to activity. So how do you get your score up? Well, let me show you a few ways. There's three main things that I always tell my clients to make sure they pay attention to. And one, you want to post valuable content. Now, I know you've heard that so often, but just remember that each post counts. So make sure that your content that you're posting is valuable. It's interesting, engaging, entertaining, empowering. You've heard these words before, but make sure you remember them when you're posting content. And when that content is really valuable, it's easy to get people to click the like button next to your post. So make sure that you encourage people to click that like button if they like your content. Also, be consistent and post often. Don't let a week go by where you haven't posted on your Facebook page. But even more so, when you do post on your Facebook page and someone leaves a comment, make sure you reply back to them. It's that one-on-one -on -one conversation going back and forth on your page, which will help your edge rank score go up. And also use photos and videos as much as possible. Studies have shown that Facebook posts that are just text get less engagement than a Facebook post that has a photo attached to it or even a video attached to it. 
So make sure you mix up your media and include images and video and all of that you post on Facebook or at least more often than not. You can do some text only post, but don't make that be the norm on your Facebook page. So there you have it. Hopefully you found the tool to be very interesting and you're going to check it out. And when you do check it out and you get your score and you might be disappointed when you do so, don't worry, because like I said, there's some articles below this video for um, you to get some more information about how to increase your engagement, get people really talking and building relationships on your Facebook page. So there's ways to do this that really do work. And so check out those articles below if you're not really happy with the score once you check out the tool. But just know that it's so important to be consistent on your Facebook page, check in daily, talk to people regularly. The thing is, I'm sure you've heard it all, except for the fact that it's really hard to run a business and keep your social media activity you know, up and consistent every day. So be patient with yourself because it doesn't happen overnight, but I think the articles below this video will really help you increase the engagement on your Facebook page. So I hope you have a really great day. Thanks for checking out the video. This is Amy at amyporterfield.com, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.